Hi all, I'm Chris from the pool team. Today we'll be talking about chlorinators. We'll be going through the anatomy, maintenance, troubleshooting and all replacement parts that comes with it. Chlorinators work on a process called electrolysis. It's a process where it uses salt to transform into liquid gas, which dissolves into your pool water. Let's have a look at all the parts. This is a chlorinator cell. This unit is the unit that will actually produce the, chlor the chlorine that flows back into your pool water. With this unit, you will find two unions with some o-rings that you will attach to the side of the unit when installing it. You would also find this is the power pack. The power pack gets connected to your DB box and this feeds power to your actual chlorinator for, for it to work. You can also separately buy a IC cleaning kit which we'll explain later on on how to form, ma perform maintenance on your unit. Should you have any problems with your unit you might use a spacer cell to replace the unit so your pool can continue running while your unit is being checked out or maintenance being done on it. Let's have a look at the indicators on your chlorinator and what it means. First of all, you'll see the salt levels with good next to a light. Should that light be solid green, you know that the parts per million salt is perfect in your pool. Should the light flash green, you know the salt is above 4,500 parts per million, but still working perfectly fine. They also indicate that the ideal salt level is 3,600 parts per million. Below that, you would find the low light. Should the light start flashing, you would know this unit is on 2,800 parts per million and the salt is low, but still producing chlorine. As soon as the light turns solid red, you know the unit is off and not producing chlorine anymore. If we go to the status section, you would find the cold water cutoff switch. So the cold water cutoff switch will be solid red and meaning the chlorinator is off. The reason for that is the water is below 11 degrees and the unit is switching itself off to protect itself and a lot of the bacteria in the water does not grow below 11 degrees Celsius. Then you would find the cell light. Should the cell light be green, you know the unit is perfect and it's working like it should. If it starts flashing, it will tell you on the side to inspect the cell. This could be due to calcium buildup or the flow switch not being activated on the unit. You would also see that it does remind you on the unit to acid clean the unit every three months. Below that, the flow light, the flow light should always be green. If it's green, it shows you the unit is working perfectly fine and the unit is producing chlorine. Should the flow light be red, the chlorinator will not be producing chlorine at all. If you go to the sanitizer output, you will notice a 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100%. That's the amount of output of chlorine gas you would like to set on your pool. You can take this up or down using the less and more button. For instance, if you use 40%, it will only produce chlorine for 40% of an hour. Should we have low chlorine in your pool or thunderstorms around and you want to boost it, you can use the boost function by pushing the less and the more button together. The lights would start 
running up and down from 20 to 100 percent continuously for 24 hours and that would super claw your swimming pool for 24 hours after 24 hours the unit will go <clears throat> back to its normal 40 or 60 percent where you left it on the previous day when it comes to the basic maintenance of your chlorinator let's have a look at what to do so the chlorinator can build up calcium on the cell inside and that would actually hinder its ability to produce gas chlorine in order for you to clean this you can go to the nearest pool team store and buy yourself an icy cleaning kit with that you can take out the unit, undo the unions, take out the unit and place it directly onto the stand. And how we would clean this is by using a solution that is a 10 parts water to one part acid. After you've mixed your solution you can pour this into the top of the unit and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes this will help break down all the calcium buildup you have on your cell afterwards take out the unit and rinse it off with clean water you can actually then put it back please just make sure that the arrow is facing the correct way you can also have a look while taking out the unit that there's no big debris uh, stuck on the side of the unit which might have slipped through your filter. The, the chlorinator would indicate if there is something wrong with the cell or to clean the unit. It also shows you to clean the unit every three months which in some cases might be different as areas have different calcium levels in the water. Let's have a look at the basic troubleshooting of your chlorinator. The power pack. Should there be no power to the unit or the unit not giving power to your chlorinator, you can always ask your local electrician to have a look at your power um, power supply as there is a 10 amp fuse installed inside which could be the cause of not getting power to the unit. The chlorinator itself. Should the chlorinator have power on it but the flow switch is red? That could be because of calcification on the cells or debris stuck on the front of the unit not affecting the water flow to the flow switch and that might cause the unit not to produce chlorine. You would also notice there's a cold water cut off switch. Should that light be red that means the water is below 11 degrees and the unit switches itself off to protect itself and most bacteria does not grow below 11 degrees. If we look at the replacement parts, on the unions you'll find an o-ring, should that leak that can be replaced quite easily. The unit itself can be replaced, the power supply can be replaced, should you, should you need to take in the unit for repairs or to be inspected you can get yourself a spacer cell. The space itself fits in where the unit should be in your flow of your system. This will allow you to run your pool while the unit is in for inspections or repairs. All of these parts can be bought at your local pool team store. We hope this video was helpful for you to understand your chlorinator better. 
we stock all the spare parts needed. Head down to any of the pool team stores for professional advice and service. This is Chris from the pool team. Keep swimming guys, keep swimming.